Welcome uh, to the AB Passive House here in Northern Colorado. Not using any foams on the project. It's uh, about 1,700 square feet. And uh, we're targeting for a Passive House Plus certification since it's off-grid and looking at how uh, we use solar equipment within the PHPP for certification. Comfort is the kind of main criteria at the end of the day. Clients do care about power for sure, but if you go and put this time and effort into a building, you really want to stay comfortable, like a, like a favorite pair of slippers or something. So we don't want the house to overheat. We don't want the house to get too cold or to get cold spots. So right-sizing the windows is really critical. One of the kind of defining characteristics of uh, this project was the uh, thickness of the walls. And of course, with most passive houses, you're looking at a wall that is going to be 22 inches wide, which seems utterly outrageous uh, to most people. But the reason why we got this wide was because we wanted the windows to be a place to sit. So we're, they're about 15 inches off the ground. It's a really comfortable, comfortable extension, really, of the room. And so um, it's not only a breakout area, it's a piece of furniture. I call it kind of this, the third part of the program of the building is, is, the, is the use, the in situ space in between uh, the outside and the interior. Um, so the two by six wall ends right about here. And then we have our Larson trusses that come out to about here. And then uh, the purlins and the build up for the rest of the siding. And we're just going to insulate the, the outer 16 inches or so and the inside, we actually don't even have to insulate in this particular project. This kind of counters a lot to what we've seen traditionally in buildings, especially in the last uh, 20, 30 years. And I remember hearing an interview about Green Building. I think it was the head of the Dallas AIA or maybe the Texas AIA. And he was interviewed with Ed Masria from Architecture 2030. And, and at the end of the interview, uh, the, uh, the interviewer asked, so what's... You know, what's the most important thing in architecture today? And the head of the AIA said thin walls. And that was kind of counter to everything we're trying to do with high performance buildings is we're trying to get high performance envelopes first and then maximize the usability of that space as well. Uh, so thin walls, I think, you know, should go out of fashion. There's so much you can do with a wide wall that you can't do with a thin wall. So uh, this project was a fun experiment with that. And I, Hopefully we can do a lot more experimentation with the way we can use the space in between the walls. This is pretty damn chill. How do you not just hang out here all day? Let's sit in another window. You want to sit in another window? Yeah. This one's pretty sweet up here.